What's up, what's up, world? What's up, world? Y'all know what this is. If y'all don't, Mr. KB Smooth Trucker 78. Uh, this probably going on my YouTube, so uh, no need to shout out IG or Facebook or anything like that. But uh, those that follow me, that follow me, thank you, Lord. Uh, first and foremost, give praise and glory to my high power, my creator. <laughs> so all I got to say. <laughs> Man. Man, I don't even know how to start this video. Sorry, you know. Uh, oh, oh, man. All I can say is, you know, today is a new day, but your brother's been through it, y'all. Been through it. And then my power, power you know, y'all have y'all God, I have my God. He revealed to me. He's been revealing to me, you know. Y'all know me, man. I'm a Kindle spirit, man. I'm not perfect, man. Um, I have my faults, man. But uh, I am trying to be better. Trying to be a better KB each day. I'm blessed to live, you know. I know people be like, man, he be always saying he done died or or he going through it because y'all don't realize, man, I do. My testimony every day is a blessing, man. You know, uh, you know I mean, I've been shot. You can't see it now, but it's healing up. But shot, wounded, you know, um, military, 10 and a half years. Don't need to go on all that IEDs and saving lives. And, you know, some people call me a superhero. Even out here in trucking, because I put out that I'm going to stay out here and deliver this freight. This before all the cheap freight. We'll get into that. That's another discussion. But y'all know back. Y'all follow me on IG and stuff. I said I was going to go out here. And I have been. I sacrificed, you know, for my loved ones and everything, man, to do what I felt my higher power was calling me to. And most of us truckers out here, man. But, you know, things will take a turn for the worse, meaning COVID is claiming more lives. Uh, shout out to one of my dear friends, uh, Pinky, keeping in 100 experiences. Y'all go follow her on YouTube. Uh, pray, pray for her, pray for her. She lost a, a mother. And losing a loved one is hard, but especially when you lose your birth mother, the one that gave you birth, that God created in the womb and birthed you, and you know you're close. You know, whether you're close or not close, you should be close because you only get one mom, man. When she gone, you're going to regret that you, you know, treated her some type of way. Don't care how you grew up. I'm sure every mom did the best. They may not have been perfect. They may, they did wrong, but they got you here. They birthed you. Nine hours, ten hours, two days, however you've been in months, nine months, ten months, premature. You here on earth because my creator, our creator, wounded you, handcrafted you in her wound, in her belly. Whether she had a C-section, birthed you naturally through the vaginal canal or whatever, you hear it. Man, woman, and child, mothers replenish the earth. You know what I'm saying? So honor that mother, man. Call your mama, man. You know, we you're, you're over the road truck. At least call her, video chat her if she's up with technology. But go by and see her every chance you get because we are gone tomorrow. Meaning we could die. The day is not promised. I'm not even promised. We not promised to make it through this 24 hours, which has already started. It's what? 342? Y'all can't see that, but it's like 3.42 in the a.m. Central Time. Eastern Time is 4.42. So most people are still sleeping in bed. KB been up praying, fasting, just going through some things, y'all, spiritually. But uh, this shot, th th this is no shot to nobody, but if those dare to watch it, some people might feel some type of way. But at the end of the day, I don't care, man. I'm fired up for Jesus, man. I'm fired up for my Lord. You feel me? Hated to love it, man, because things. I'm tired, of, I'm tired of holding things in. And, and, and letting stuff slide. I'm gonna start calling out the spade, the spade, like God said. We not judge. We are not to judge people. We are to judge the sin that people put out and the sin in people. Because if we don't judge the sin in people, how do we know what sin? And when I say that is, I'm not perfect. You be like, KB, who are you to judge me on my sin? I judge myself on my sin. I repent every day. I all men fall short of glory every day. Every hour, there are sins that you knowingly commit each time, but there are sins that your spirit commits that against God that you don't know. So you got to repent for both of those things, if you believe. You know, if you worldly, this ain't this ain't for you. If you believe in whatever, you know, if you're not with my God, this ain't for you. So I know a lot of people about to leave now. Four minutes in, y'all can cut the, y'all can just hit it right here. My average video time anyway. Y'all don't y'all don't like my videos anyway. I get an average of hundred views, and y'all cut it off right at this point. I look at my analytics, which I'm still trying to figure that out. I'm not a YouTube guru. I'm not on here for that. I don't care if y'all watch the whole 20 minutes, 50 minutes, an hour if you want. But four minutes, average four to six minutes on my analytics. That means. I mean, 
If I say something wrong or y'all ain't feeling me, y'all already out. So the ones that need to leave now, the Satan worshippers and the worldly guys, y'all can bounce right now, man. And get behind me, D Satan, you know what I'm saying? Follow the Christ, you know what I'm saying? Breastplate of right. I got the breast, the bless, the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation, the armor of God, the sword of the word, you know, all that good jazz. So I ain't worried about nothing. Trusting him all day, every day, baby. So, but anyway, man, what I'm, what this video topic is about, I know you're like five minutes in, he's finally get to the topic. Don't worry about it. Y'all already tuned out anyway. Is don't let people steal your time, energy, love when they don't deserve it. Guard it. Guard it. Yeah, yeah, I'm a little ticked off because it's some things went down that I'm not going to put out because I'm not one of the ones that throw, go ahead and throw a hissy fit on YouTube and cry about things. And I'm not even going to call a purple name out. I'm just saying people in general, including your blood family, I don't give a bump. Don't let no one, no one steal your joy, your energy, bring your mood down in this world. We face a lot every day, every second, every minute, every hour of each day. We bless to breathe life and wake the bump up. And people, human beings, are something else. That's all I can say, man. I've been I've been studying humanity. Forty, I'm gonna be forty two, Lord willingly, in a few months. Uh, July, I'm a July baby, Leo, Leo the Lion. Forty two years on this earth, four decades out of lived on this earth. I'd have been through a lot that a lot of y'all wouldn't even dare to walk through. A lot of y'all wouldn't even be sitting here. I'm not to my home. This is praise and poor testimony. But I yet still to learn people, man. You know, the, you know, you, you you let your guard down. You start trusting people. You think they're the right ones, and God reveals to you that season ends. Some seasons last six months, years, two years. But sometimes we try to hold on, hold on to people that God tearing us apart from the jump. We don't, we, because the devil jumps in and we fail to realize that's a snake in the grass soon you beat that person. I used to be real good at that. I still am, but lately, I don't know, I've been off, my, my, my radar off or something, man. God be letting people in my circle and they get in real tight, man. Real, real, real close to me. Where I start opening up and revealing shit, skew my language, but stuff that I would never tell my own, say I had a wife or my mom rest in heaven that she was on earth. My 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 still biological mom's on earth, but I was raised by my grandma. You know, stuff I wouldn't, you know, I'd have told certain individuals, revealed information, they know where I live, they know everything but my social. And they turn on you. Drop it in half. You know, I'm gonna tell you one thought about me. I go into this realm because I fight a spiritual battle that most of y'all don't even know because y'all in the world. So I cut people off, meaning y'all don't see me on social media. I might not even answer the phone call. You know what I'm saying? I just laid up eight days, eight days back home. No, I don't have the COVID-19. Well, I pray I don't. They still got to run some more tests. But I was out of commission. Even before that, I was starting not to talk to people because I had to get in my spiritual zone because I started pulling away from God and, and getting into the world and trying to help this one, this one, when my energy don't, they don't deserve that. But I got the heart of God that I want to see everybody succeed. I got the love. I don't want to see nobody go through nothing. If I can help you with just my word, I try. But I put too much energy into people. The wrong people. They could be right at first and then they turn wrong. And I'm tired. I'm tired and I'm done. No more. No more. Keep my circle very small. I'm going to start weeding the leaves off, weeding the, the bushes off, like God said. Weed them all. Shrivel the branches. The tough rooted ones, the one that truly messed with KB, you know, but you're still on guard, though. I'm still studying you. You're trial and error, man. You still might have a couple of Jepsons and stuff, but the jury ain't out, you know what I'm saying? I don't have friends no more. I have associates. If y'all take that wrong, you might as well leave now, nine minutes. Because you soon you say your friend, they stab you in the mother loving back, they turn their back on you, or they, you know, they just. Hurt you. They, they tear your heart out. And that's what the problem with people like me and others that are so kind and nice and godly. And we ain't perfect, but we got that heart of his that they, we get shitted on so much. So much sometimes, man. And it makes you want to turn cold. It makes you want to turn black. My heart black as his shirt sometimes, man. Not to let anybody in. Not to fool with no one. 
I see why people are introverts, stay to their mother love itself, but you know how depressing and lonely and miserable that life is? We are a creature of nature. We, we want to be around and have people that you can love and say you trust. But the, this world, 2020, y'all know what we're going through. I don't even have to bring that up. Mask on if you're outside. I'm in my building terminal. We safe in here. You know, this dark terminal, dark transit. Yeah, that's who I work for. I ain't ashamed to show y'all I work for. Half of y'all that follow me or really truly fuck with me, y'all know where I work at. Yeah. Dark trans. Oh, I'm about to wait. I'm about to cook my dinner and breakfast at the same time. Uh, that's a whole nother video. And yes, I'm a type 2 diabetic. Shouldn't even be showing y'all that, but I ain't afraid. Type 2 diabetic, man. Got my hand sanitizer here, disinfected on white. I'll wipe this whole table down. Uh, got my trucking notes because I got to write my load information down in the morning. God first, baby. Keep him first in all things, man. You feel me? So, yeah. You know, somebody blessed me with that, man. You know, I'm thankful for everything, grateful for everything, man. This is an early birthday present for a certain person, and I still love him for that. We'll always love him for that. And all, you know, that person done for me, man. You know, but it hurts, man. <laughs> it really hurts, man. I ain't afraid to show my emotion, man. I'm damn near about to cry now, man, because it just hurts, man. If it didn't hurt so bad, sometimes I never say I want to wish I want to be evil. Because, no, I don't want no fucking evil, man. I'm with godly, love all day. But sometimes I wish I didn't care so much that I had feelings for you so much. Oh, yeah, my fuel car, dark trans. Oh, shit, sorry. Fuck it if you see the numbers, but <laughs> anyway, y'all can't use it. Ain't like you can go and take my numbers and put it online. And, oh, Dart, he's fueling somewhere else. No, you can't. But anyway, you got to use this to access the door to get in. So sorry about that if y'all seen the numbers. But right now I'm on one. But, uh, oh, man. So basically, long story short, man, it is guard your heart. Guard your mother loving heart. Save your time and energy for yourself, your loved ones, your kids, the truly the ones that really deserve it. It don't help everybody, man. Not everybody supposed to be helped, man. People got to fend for their motherfucking selves out here, man. Meaning, don't don't get me wrong, man. I'll still give the shirt off my back. But what I'm saying is some people are like leeches, man. They start crutching to you because they know you kind. They know you're going to do everything for them. They call you 2 in the morning, jump up, go fix the motherfucking tire, brakes falling off, car leaking oil, or, or, or just need a ride, or, 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 or just need a word of encouragement. You know, but that's them day, I mean, and then they call me an asshole for this. Oh, but then they throw the God back at me. They throw my faith back at me. You're fighting demons. You're something wrong with you. No, the mirror's on you. It ain't me. Had me questioning myself. It ain't me. I ain't the one in the wrong. I'm not perfect, but I'm not the one in the wrong. Y'all mother suckers in the wrong, but I'm going to pray for you. And I pray my high power touches you and touches your life. That you get saved and you work on your salvation. And you go where I know I'm going to go when it's all dead, said, and done. I pray he says, welcome, son. Come on in. I don't know for sure. I don't know if I've done enough. Meaning, I don't know if I'm worthy of his kingdom. I'm not worthy. We are not worthy. I'm not even worthy. But he gave me this free gift. Died on the motherfucking cross and straight his blood for me. And don't you dare to believe. And trust him in your life. And get his spirit, his Holy Spirit. Y'all dare say he ain't even existed. They got people... On the internet said this person ain't even exist. Jesus Christ, he ain't never was never was a person with a fictional motherfucking character. Okay, see how fictional he is when he cracked that sky and we gone like that and you still here. The Rapture, baby, Left Behind. Go watch that movie, three part movie. The older version, they got a new version. I bought. Watch the three part. They got it on DVD. Watch it if you dare to watch it. Watch The Rapture. I got that movie too. Watch Passion of the Christ. You know what I'm saying? I knew this world went to shit when they started allowing gay marriages to be legal. Meaning motherfuckers can just be married. That ain't right. Yeah, I'm judging sin. I ain't got nothing against y'all. Don't don't y'all be coming at me, LBGB alphabet motherfuckers. That's between y'all and y'all how God and answer to that. What I'm saying is it ain't right. It's abomination to my God. So get yourself to write on that one. This ain't what this video is about neither, but I'm calling out every damn thing. Help your brother and sister in need, man. These times are the these this, this COVID nineteen ain't no demon. It ain't. It, it is for us to grow and love. What was lacking in this world before two thousand twenty and COVID nineteen pandemic was love, compassion, people helping one another without nothing. Just hey, man, you need this, nigga. I got you. You ain't seen none of that shit before this went down. But I see more of it now than I ever seen, and I pray more of it. Unity. People coming together. Yeah, it's still evil and divided and people doing wicked shit because we got the mask on. 
I had a dude that kidnapped the kids. Somebody sent me on Facebook for my home state with the mask on because you don't know who's underneath that mask. Gangs are probably running free. Uh, uh, motherfuckers getting robbed. They're doing evil shit. Dart has two trucks stolen from us and uh, trailers broken into. Lock your shit. Be alert. Where are your surrounding drivers? Don't walk around here lost. Stay woke. I ain't talking about just woke as in like now. No, no, stay the fuck woke. Open your eyes to what's going on. And don't be brainwashing bamboos about the fake media, man, and the news that want to scare you and make you live in fear and all that. No, man. Fear nothing but him upstairs. That's why I, that's my belief. So, but, uh, oh, man. Ninety-four beats per minute. Just check my blood pressure. That shit probably sky high. <laughs> Let me crack this open because I don't even know. This is ginger ale, little can. It's only got uh, twenty grams of sugar. Yes, like I said, I'm type two diabetic. But this is for my stomach and my nerves. Oh, perfect blood pressure, actually, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's uh, one hundred and four over sixty-seven. I was thinking I'm fired up that that shit be like way high. Hmm. Wow. Because I'm not going to let people run my blood pressure up and kill me and, and tend me to an early grade. I got to see my high power early because I let y'all motherfuckers take me off this earth. I don't survive more stuff than most average human wouldn't even think about it. Not to toot my own testimony. Glory to God. Praise and glory to him. Through him, I survive and I'm still here. Because the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Meaning there's a few of his soldiers like me. That are still here doing his will. His will be done every day, all day. Man, not my will, not your will, but my higher power's will be done. Yeah. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and check my blood sugar. And I'm going to show this on uh, online. See where it's at. Because you know what I'm saying? I ain't never scared, man. Judge me. You know, call my company. He diabetic. He shouldn't be driving a truck. <laughs> Get me fired. I got the record. I got a medical car for a year now. Motherfuckers is a trip, man. I'll never understand. I, I pray God that I can never take his shoes. I don't dare to walk his shoes because you got a powerful task. You said you never blot out, man, with water, though. With water. With water. And I'm at 122. 122. So that's good as a diabetic. Thought that was high, too, because I'm fired up. So, But uh, 17 minutes in. All right, man. So I'll give y'all a quick tour, man. This is my terminal, Evanville, Illinois, Pontoon Beach. You call it off of 270. Uh, got my toaster oven, man. Got my breakfast pizza in there. I'm going to eat that real quick while I cook my... Uh, I'm going to do a little stir fry real quick in the Instant Pot. Uh, got my coffee. Look, pure cane sugar. This right here has 75 fewer calories than real sugar. And it don't raise your sugar like real cane sugar would. So I've been fucking with that trivia. I used to do the Splendid thing. And I can't do the Sacralose, the pink stuff. Sweet and low. No, I can't do that. That's so bad as a diabetic. But we got a refrigerator here. This is some bold face live, my dark guys, if you watch my channel. They say they clean it out. They got a pizza in here. You know it's COVID-19. Old ass pizza. I would throw it away, but I'm going to leave it till the morning. But I'm going to ask if anybody don't claim it, that thing going out of here. It was old ass mayonnaise. Yeah, March 2020. That shit got to go. But anyway, we got a refrigerator if you want to keep your food in here. Uh, you got a freezer with ice maker. But that shit, ew, that shit need to be cleaned out, man. I don't trust that, man. But, uh, oh, man. But, uh, yeah, this dark transit uh, yard. We got a microwave. That's the, This is the uh, company's microwave. That's mine, by the way, that toaster oven here. This is a, like a coffee machine. But, hell, I don't trust this, man, because it runs through. It's one of those ones that, that does the coffee itself. I don't know. I got my own coffee pot. You know, I just need some hot water. But uh, we got a sink. It's got a garbage disposal in here. All that good jazz. Uh, we got two showers and restrooms. Uh, unisex. Knock on the door before you go in there. Don't be peeping time in here. We got a... Uh, it says driver claim for accident. Actually, I need one of these. It's saying if you get an accident claim on the job, let me get one of these. And we got straight bill of ladings drivers. I'm gonna get a couple of these. This is if you don't get a bill of lading or you you get paid for empty miles because the load cancel. So and beads kind drivers. I mean, this is my company only. But don't take everything out of here. Just take enough for yourself. But these are straight bill of lading, so you can mark where you came from and they can pay you. And you scan this in just like a uh, what's the hell? Like these ones, this is the real bill of lading right here. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no numbers on here. I can show y'all that. This is like the transflow sheet, your trip sheet. I don't really do that no more because I scanned it through the Dar Tracker app. But these are straight bill of ladings. And these ones don't even have the thing to scan on it. 
but I can do it through the Dart app, so I'm gonna take that, you know. And they got emergency response book. You know, this is you supposed to have this, your green book with the FMCS rule, and your red book for hazmat. But uh, I already got mine on that. I think they're gonna have come out with a new version because it's still safe, but it's still good though. But it's 2016. They should be having a new one by that. We got Dart load book uh, uh, for right now your load, and then even got a calendar in there. I already got one of these. But, uh, yeah, you can write your load information down, all that jazz. Got one of those. These are envelopes. Every month over here at Dart, you must send in your uh, all your bills. Even though you scan them in, Dart still wants the physical copy of these things every month, once a month. So, 12. So, if I take, this will be, what's the day? May, May, June, July, August, September. But I got some in the truck. The reason why I don't take, uh, uh. Matter of fact, let me pick one back because I got some in the truck. But uh, these are for your trip sheet. So, see? And look at the driver, man. I take this, that, and that, and um, we good. You know what I'm saying? Don't be greedy, man. Greed is one of the uh, the seven deadly sins, man. Greed, lust, gluttony. We'll get, that's another conversation on religion. But uh, got my stuff, my seasoning, my spices, my dishes I'm going to need to cook up with, uh, you know. And it's so peaceful being here. Ain't no other driver in here right now. And our, and by the way, they come and clean our facilities six times a day. The lady was in here twice a night. So it's COVID free in here. We don't have nothing that's closed off but the safety room. We'll get to that in a minute. What is it, 21 minutes? I'll make this a 30-minute video. Always knock. Come in here. Automatic lights so they save electricity. But, yeah, this is the bathroom. See? COVID-19 clean. Got TP in here. You know what I'm saying? Uh... I'm sorry, y'all. We have females in here. I mean, I don't know why males leave the urinals up. If you in your house, do you leave your urinals up? If you look, you got a, a daughter, a wife, or sister. But anyway, but yeah, but it's pretty clean, y'all. As y'all can see, uh, pretty clean trash can. Uh, got a little seat, and then we got a shower in here. Uh, you can pull it off. Got a shower room. I spray the floor down anyway, but you got a nice shower in here. Uh, you can sit your stuff here. You can take that off, and it comes off. Spray is pretty good. I took a shower earlier and, uh, and I'm already fresh and so clean. You see, you got the fresh shade. Can't be smooth out here looking good, boy. <laughs> Don't do my home, man. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, what else? Uh, so it's driver table. This is the second one. This basically mimics that one. So, I ain't got to go over that again. All right. We got a washing dryer, but somebody broke the damn dryer. This, the, these are electronic digital not touch screen but anyway you uh usually work but somebody that broke that see how drivers don't take care of shit but that's a damn shame but they'd have broke that band so they'll get that fixed this is the safety room you could uh you uh only safety badges and, and admin personnel can scan this and go in here though we used to have training here and orientation but they don't do that no more it's basically a terminal in the shop this is the shop office uh they in here from six six to six every day six a.m to six p.m so that's the shop. Here's a little, you know, stuff they say, you know, we got free Wi-Fi, uh, places that deliver. Uh, they said this is closed now. No more Chinese food. I don't know why people boycott Chinese food, another subject. But uh, uh, that's because they think China causes. Well, they, we're not going to get into that. Anyway, Domino's Pizza, Pizza Hut, Itty Bitty Restaurant, and it used to be China Star. But that's closed because of COVID-19. And just some stuff, uh, OSHA, some safety highway sales policy. Uh, cause I'm an owner operator. I'm a lease operator. And I got, I know everybody keeps asking me, by the way, KB, can you please do a lease, your update or your dark? I'm going on my, uh, my first year being a couple months. It's COVID-19. I got other things, you know, going on, but I will get that video, uh, put together for y'all. Uh, update of my leasing. You got three options over here as a lease operator. Uh, mileage, 65%. And OPI, which I'm on, which is 70%, but that's another video too. So, uh, but yeah, this is, uh, Highway sales speed governor. Uh, this is how you get your truck turned up as a lease operator. I'm gonna read that again. Uh, this is how you're gonna get in trouble over here. You got people logging out your ELDs and driving. They will get you on that. The only time you're supposed to log out is when you in that in that shop and and the mechanic supposed to. Uh, Dart's coming out with their own code so they can log in your ELD in case they got to do a road test. So, because everything you do in them semi trucks by the federal government FNCSA rules is, it's got to be accountable. It can't have a whole bunch of unassigned drive time. So, the more you accumulate unassigned drive time, somebody got to answer for that. If it don't go to a driver, it goes to your fleet manager. And there's a certain accumulation a month or even a week, I think, 
of underside drive time where they're gonna flag you you put on safety hole and yeah they're gonna call you in to see what's going on but uh just do the right thing don't be logging out and driving but uh uh you got the um soda machines all that stuff oh yeah be compliant you know learn how to run your clock you got 14 hour 11 hour clock man 30 minute break within seven and a half hours just do the right thing uh we used to have food in this y'all know why COVID 19 ain't nobody delivering or making that no more they used to have hot sandwiches little microwave soups and yeah the only thing and i wouldn't eat that milk i don't know how long that been in there i wouldn't drink that trust that uh then we got a little vending machine uh get your little snacks uh fat snacks you know what i'm saying we all you know we eating healthy trying to lose weight man i'm down 256 trying to bust it under 250 i'll get there i know i got a little spare tire left little man boo i'm gonna tighten that up look i can still flex though yeah boy but anyway i'll get that up you know what i'm saying don't you want the percolating chesticles y'all watch Ted cruz man he funny as hell but anyway so we got a little snacks in there uh lounge room you got tables here y'all can see because you know we, we stuck in that truck so much now in COVID 19. so i'm glad my terminal uh most of our terminals besides the airport and valde you really don't have a break room y'all see my videos go back and follow me i did a whole preview of the airport terminal we got i haven't did one of our main terminal yet because i don't go there that often y'all know why big wigs up there I don't, I don't fool with that i don't go there unless i have to minnesota egan minnesota that's where dark is founded and based out of we have a, this terminal evan world Illinois, Valde, Ohio is our terminal and shop. We got Lancaster, Texas. That's our other terminal down south. And we got Ellenwood, Georgia. And we also have a trailer in Boonsburg or Boonstown, Indiana, or not Indiana, but somewhere around here. Just a trailer, y'all. They do minor mechanic work, but there's a trailer, y'all. So that's Dart's terminal. We stay east of the I-35. We go west, but I'm saying our terminal's all east coast. But anyway, like I said, lounge. You got your lounge. Then you got your... Uh, Seats got TV, internet, uh, channels on there, you know, whatever, whatever. I can change it, but I don't know what the hell that's on, but I leave that on. Uh, you got dark, you know, we got oh, you come to dark, hell of this is where you fuel that, especially as a company driver. You only can fuel that pilot flying J, unless it's a dire emergency. But as an owner operator, you get your choice of fuel, but I fuel here because the darks get the biggest discount here. And uh, here's more about that flying J discounts. You got the internet room where you can go in here quietly, hook up your laptop, whatever. They even got a direct jack if you want to hook it directly, but they say that really don't work. <laughs> Basically, they just use the Wi-Fi. So this is the internet room. Uh, they got a light. Everything everything is a motion sensor, so dark saves electricity like that because the number one cost in the company is fuel. Second cost is, of course, maintenance. Third cost is all these facilities to keep them lighted, water, and all that. So, yeah. And this is a quiet room. This is if you want to go in here and meditate in prayer, which, yeah, KB be in here meditating in prayer. But this is the quiet room. You just lock this door and do not disturb. You go do your peaceful meditate. You got a plug in here, too, if you want to bring something with you. But mostly, yeah, that's the quiet room. So that's pretty much it, you know. And then we got the, uh, that's my girl right there, KB Smooth, Trucker 7 8. Got my Bob Tail. My trailer's locked. Oh, Dark drivers only, dark drivers only. When you drop your trailer here at the yard, if it ain't loaded, even if it's loaded, put your red lock on it and your kingpin lock sometime because these drivers will steal your trailer. Even though it ain't assigned to them and then they got to go through some mess when they get down the road and, the, and it's assigned to another truck, but just lock it up. Most of these trailers out here, Dart's renting this yard out, so you'll see Landstar, uh, US Express. Uh, 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 we got Amazon Prime, Night Trailers. We got they, they rented this yard out so they can still overflow from PG, Prot the Gamble, which is down the street over here. And that's actually Snyder School over there. Snyder Transport, you know. No hating on the game. That's the sister company uh, uh, competition. But uh, we all out here doing the same thing. But that's Snyder all across the street over there. So, uh, but yeah, I ain't going to go too far because I ain't got my fuel card on me if I go too far. I gotta. I ain't nobody here to let me in. I'm done. But uh, that's it, man. And 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 my and you can park around the corner and all that good jazz. But uh, yeah, it's Dark Transit over here, Pontoon Beach, Evansville, Illinois. So hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up or give me a thumbs down. I can give to what's less. <laughs> but I appreciate those follows, my little follows, y'all. So y'all stay easy, be breezy, stay protected, keep your hygiene up. Uh, uh, social distance is a must mask on gloves on do the right thing we're gonna make it through this mess y'all it's gonna be we got a long road ahead of us though this is only the beginning though but y'all stay easy be breezy man this can't be smooth i ain't even gonna do no fancy intro none of that i'm just gonna drop this video on my channel tonight upload it and uh see what y'all think so y'all have a good day
God bless. Godspeed. Happy weekend. Sunday morning. Early one Sunday morning. Breakfast was on the table. There was no time to eat. She said to me, rest in peace, Grandma, get ready for Sunday school. Sadie, talk all the matter. R. Kelly, he, you know, he got an answer for his, his, his wrong, but that boy was a musical genius. Still is, man. So, KB Smooth.